Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, YouTube. What's going on? It's your boy Joey Does Tech, and welcome to my channel. In today's video, we're going to be replacing the LCD top screen of a Nintendo DS Lite. Now, shortly, I will go through a list of tools I'm going to be using. However, one of the most essential tools that I don't seem to have is a soldering iron. This is on order and should be with me tomorrow. So for today's video, we're going to replace the screen without having to replace the speakers. Before we get into this video and I'll show you guys the equipment that we have, I just really want to quickly give a shout out to this guy here. He's the real MVP. His name's Elliot, aka The Retro Future. If you guys have somehow stumbled across this video and haven't checked him out yet, you need to go and check him out. This Nintendo DS Lite specifically that I'm replacing the screen for today was in Elliot's job lot that he bought from eBay and he's very kindly sent it to me to have a go at repairing myself. I have no experience whatsoever in repairs at all. It was a hobby that I picked up very, very recently and I'm buzzing to get into my first Nintendo DS Lite repair. I don't know how this video is gonna go. It could either go amazingly well or it could swing the complete other way and be an absolute shambles. This channel specifically is all about repairs from a beginner's perspective. It's not necessarily a how-to step-by-step guide on how to repair the items, but more so you'll see it from somebody who does not have a clue. Without all the jibber-jabber, we're gonna get into it. Thank you so much for watching the vid, and here we go. So first thing we're gonna do is check out the actual DS Lite. This is the Nintendo DS Lite that I've been sent. It's really, really nice, I think. Um, the only issue being, when I turn it on, is that the top screen, the speakers are absolutely fine, by the way, is that the top screen, any, any second now, I don't know whether you're gonna be able to see it on my camera or not, would help if I touch the screen, is doing something rather disco-like, is the way that I can explain it. Um, I have no idea what it is, um, but the aim today is to replace this top screen with a brand new screen that we've got and hopefully this stops happening. I don't know if you can maybe see that a little bit better now, but you guys get the idea of what this DS is doing, but the DS just doesn't get the picture. Enough corny horrendous jokes, let's just get on with it. If anyone's got any decent tips on how to put a glove on, easy, let me know. Okay, so that's the hard bit out of the way. From what I understand, the basic tools I'm gonna to be needing are tweezers, my trusty little scoop thing, that I use to scoop out potentially scoopy stuff, and also my screwdriver. Now this is gonna be the most trusty piece of kit that we have today, and we're gonna use it for, I believe it's called the tri-wing, or uh, as I like to call it, the triceratops uh, screw bit, which we're gonna use for most of the screws on the DS, as well as a Phillips head as well. We need that um, in order to get the battery cover off, etc. So first things first, we're gonna take the stylus out of the DS, and we're gonna remove the battery cover using a Phillips screwdriver. And just make sure that slots are empty. That includes the game cartridge and slot number two. And now we're just gonna remove the battery from the device. And then we're gonna remove this screw right here and this screw right here. I've heard there's a lot of fiddly parts to this. So um, at the same time as being really, really excited, I'm actually really, really nervous, understandably, the first time ever taking apart a DS Lite. And now we have to switch to the tri-wing bit. That didn't want to leave home. And then apparently there is a smaller black screw that's hidden just behind the cartridge case. Come on Logitech webcam, you can do it bro. There she is. Oh, a little bit of the DS actually fell out there. I don't know if you guys can see that. See that? I don't know what that, what this bit is meant to be. I'm gonna put that there though, and I'll maybe ask Elliot about that later. But, oh, it's actually, it's actually come away, look. It's actually come away from the slot. It still screws, I think, but it was just a little bit loose. And then we have to remove these two rubber bits here and remove the Phillips screws that are underneath. Now I'm going to try and keep as organized as I can and I'm going to try and remember what part goes where. Hopefully we should be okay. 
This is a dumb decision before I decide not to actually write what goes where, but we'll deal with that later. So apparently the DS now should come away from that. That shouldn't have just happened, right? Like that little metal bit that's just poking out of the top there. I don't think that was supposed to happen. I'm just going to pry around very slowly. I'm not going to pull anything. I'm just going to let it happen naturally. Oh my gosh, we have the back off. A DS light. Mission accomplished. Are we finished now? And this is what the inside of a DS looks like. Now this is all completely new to me. Like, utterly and completely new to me. I don't know what is what, other than just watching a couple of videos. Again, I have no experiences with DS whatsoever. Uh, no experiences with repairs, let alone DS's. But that is what the back of it looks like. Now we dig further. And now we just have to take the... Ah! Uh, why did you fall out? Ah! Oh. Why did you fall out? Well, I didn't expect it to get this fiddly straight away. There we go. Okay, so we need to leave that in there as is. That little spring bit just fell out. So it's back in now, which is happy days, and I didn't expect it to be as fiddly as that straight away. But that was a mishap by me. Try and keep that intact because apparently it becomes really difficult later on if you're trying to put that back on. Ah, that actually hurt, you know. Okay, so apparently we now go back to the Phillips head screwdriver and remove this screw right here. Okay, so the next step is to remove the two cords that you kind of see, the black one and the white one. We have to remove them. Now it says to either use your fingers or tweezers. I'm gonna opt for the tweezers option just because I don't think I'll be, I don't think my fingers are gonna be stable enough. And now apparently I've heard that one of the tricky parts when putting it back together is putting the black wire th back through this silver slot here. But we need to first take it out. So I'm going to try and just grab it and slowly wiggle its way through. Now usually I'm not too bad with these, but apparently it's it can be quite difficult. So I'm just going to try and use the tweezers here to get it back through. Just to remove it. This isn't to put it back there we go it's not to put it back it's just to literally drag it through slowly but surely the, all the videos i've seen it's taken people a very long time at least a couple of tries i'm not going to pull on anything here i'm literally just going to try and slide it through with these making sure i don't scratch anything it doesn't seem to come through the other oh there we go nice and easy ish and now apparently what we can do is open this up push the touch screen wow okay yep and then we've got to be careful, very, very careful here, not to pull on the ribbon, the ribbon cable, because that, uh, it doesn't really matter actually, because we're obviously we're replacing this screen, but there we go. It pops right out. And this is what we're looking like so far. So far, so good. Now, apparently there's a small black bar where the ribbon cable is, and that can be quite tricky to lift up so that we have to get the other ribbon cable off. So we're just going to try that now real quick. First of all, we're going to try with our fingers. So what we're going to try and do is turn the board around and see if we can get a better angle on it. We've managed to lift the black bar. Now what, what I actually done there, which, which helped me out massively, was just folded this back over. I don't know if that's something that you, you're not meant to do, but I just folded that back over to give me enough room to get my fat thumb in. And then I was able to lift it up and hopefully I'm then able to lift the ribbon cable out. There we go. So far, so good. And there we have it. We have the motherboard. Uh, I think it, I'm pretty sure it's upside down right now, but nevertheless, it wasn't too bad, in my opinion. Now, apparently, we just need to lift the wire out, make sure that they're like that. Next, we have two screws down here. These are Phillips screws. We're going to take these out. These screws are actually quite long, so they're, they're very different from the other ones. The hinge, we just lift this up, and the hinge itself should just come right out like that, like it has very nicely for us. It's been very friendly. I appreciate that. 
just gonna put it exactly the way. Oh, okay, I just need to rotate it a little bit, I guess. This can be quite a tricky bit. Now it's gonna be quite hard for me to explain because I don't have the best of cameras and my camera doesn't seem to be focusing whatsoever, but I need to slide this ribbon cable through a tiny little gap in between here. Now this can be quite tricky apparently, so I'm just gonna take my time with this. Oh my gosh, we've done it. All right, next stage is to remove the four rubber tabs on the upper screen. So then that will review that will reveal more screws. For me, that was one of the hardest bits so far. And now we go back to the Phillips head to remove the four screws that we have. Voila, we need to remove the barrel. That was close. We should just be able to slide the case. We just do it slowly, gently. If we feel anything forceful, we stop. There's one of the speakers that I'm not gonna be able to replace. Wow, man. Technology is amazing, right? Again, especially for somebody who's never you know, I've never dived into any of this, any of this ever. Like, this is amazing. Now, like I said previously, unfortunately, I don't have a soldering iron. Um, what we would do is we'd be taking the speakers from this screen and putting them on the new screen. But because we don't have a soldering iron, we're going to save that for another video um, where we take the DS apart, apart again and just simply reattach the speakers to the new screen. I'm going to keep the sticky tape for when I resolder the uh, the wires tomorrow, so then that way I can put it straight back down, just to keep the wires intact with the board. And now we're just gonna go ahead and pop the screen out, apparently, which scares me. And there we go, and it falls through. Now we just need to feed the ribbon cable through, which again is quite a difficult task, I believe. We have to take this little green thing out, which wasn't shown in the video, but I've done a bit more research and this needs to come out apparently. And now the hard part is trying to feed this back through. Which to be honest with you, I don't, I mean, look at the state of that. Huzzah! I'll, I'll never say that again, I promise. Oh, that thing's falling out. Oh no. Oh, this is the microphone, okay. Right, let's try and not get too clustered here. I'm gonna move the motherboard just for the time being. Okay, so we've just removed the microphone wire as well. Now, like I said, I'm gonna be cheating a bit because I don't have to solder this. So again, Ooh. Oh dang, what's happened here? They stuck together, what the frick? Okay, so I don't, well, I, I don't know if that's actually done any damage, but I've just looked and they were stuck together. Um, See, so yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna cheat basically, and I don't need to solder, but what I, what I, what I should be doing is taking the speakers off uh, via a soldering iron and putting them on the new screen. Apparently that's the, that, that's the pretty tricky part. Um, but we're skipping that for the time being, again, because I don't have a soldering iron. So we're skipping that and just putting the screen replacement into the DS. Now, this is the first time that I've actually unboxed a screen. And I don't know if you guys are going to be able to see or not, but there seems to be like a line on it. And I'm hoping, I'm really hoping that's like some protective film that I get to remove. Because otherwise, that's that seems to be damaged, right? I'm hoping there's like a protective layer. Again, I'm sorry that it's not focusing, it's really annoying me, there we go. That line, that shouldn't be there, I don't think. Um, and it doesn't look like there's a protective layer on it. I could be I could be completely wrong, I could be completely wrong. Okay, so what I'm, what I'm doing now, um, which again, is something that I think we're meant to do, but it doesn't exactly say it in the video, is take off this. 
and put it onto the new screen. It does come with a protected uh, protective screen cover on it. So I do get to remove that off, which should then get rid of this line. I'm just going to give this screen a quick clean. Stop setting, stop. <laughs> it's set back down. There we go. Seems to fit rather flush on the new screen. So now what we need to do, basically, is roll this ribbon cable up. So if I've got the screen that way, we're rolling it this way. So in that direction. To then put it through this little hole again. Now this is apparently quite tricky. It's, it's tough, yeah, it's tough. <laughs> it's not it's not easy, it's not easy. Okay, focus, Joe, focus. The guy in the video makes it look very, very, very easy, by the way. Extremely easy. thousand years later oh my god i think we've done it yes we've done it just literally just christ that was satisfying to know that it's been done i think yeah i think we're good all right no Ooh. this is just a little rubber rubber thing put the wire back in between the gaps and now we have to put the antenna back real quick as well and run it under the ribbon cable. There is also a place to pin that cable. If I take it back a little bit and put it around, give it enough so that it can bend. Okay, so now what we have to do is feed both of the wires through this little area here. And you have to be quite careful when doing this apparently because you don't want to have to break the wires. So there is a little bit of bending. And there we go, we're getting there, slowly but surely. Now what we need to do, which again could be quite tricky, is put this little metal ring back through the ribbon cable so that we can securely Put it here so that it hugs the wires quite nice and tight. So that's going to be pretty tricky, I feel. Especially when it goes walkies. And there we go. <laughs> that was really fiddly. Um, but we managed to get it done. We got it done. We got it done. Nice and easy. Nice and aligned. Good, good. Okay, so now we're just roll reversing the process, guys. So we need to feed the ribbon cable and the wires and try and get it through that little gap there. Okay, there we go. Uh, we managed to get it back in. The buttons have fallen out, but that's okay, I guess. I don't know what way they go back in, to be fair. I think that's right. Does it matter? I hope it doesn't matter. I hope, I hope that's okay. Now we need to put the, uh, the barrel hinge back on, which is this thing, this fella. I actually know what way it goes. Does it have to go a certain way? I'm not too sure. I don't think so. Right, we just put that back on. Uh, and then we need to put this on and put the screws back in. Okay, we're getting there. Put the ribbon cable back in to this part of the motherboard. So again, just make sure that the black bar is flipped up. <sighs> okay, I think I think I think I've done it, but that was that was probably the hardest bit for me. Like in terms of fiddliness, that was that was pretty difficult and I hope that doesn't fall out. I'm not even too sure it's in properly, but we will see at the end. 
Now we just need to tuck the wires again behind everything, I guess. Which again is a little bit fiddly. Okay, so just as I was starting to reassemble, the ribbon cable fell out as I, as I feared. So clearly it wasn't incorrectly to start with. So we're just gonna try and put that back in now. Man, how, how, how is this guy getting it in so easy, man? Makes it look bloody effortless. Mind you, he's probably done about 30,000 of them. It still upsets me how easy he makes it look. Deep breaths, man. You got deep breaths. Okay, so now we've got an issue where the, the black clip isn't actually like, it's not, it, won't cl it wouldn't close. So I don't know if that's me pushing it too far in now or what? Okay, I think I did. Okay, I think, I think okay, so that's down now. Okay, right. That took about 20, 20, 25 minutes to fiddle with that. That's evil. Let's move on. Okay, so finally, well, I say finally, eventually, we're able to flip the screen over. Um, and now I've lost the white cable. So that's that's always a thing. And we have to push through from the bottom. Need to grab that white cable. Slide it out. Same. Oh, no. i put that back in now. And then I need to grab the black one. And kind of thread this under and round like so I had to plug the, this one back in there like like that pretty much people keep warning me about this bit I have to feed this wire I thought I was over the difficult bit clearly not I have to feed this black wire through here down and obviously hook it back up to where it was previously wish me luck We go again, we move. Oh my God, it's a miracle. We can see it, <laughs> we can see it just through there. I actually pointed it at the light to see if I could guide my way through and that helped and worked. So happy days. That bit is now plugged in, happy days. That was a pain in the eye. And now we need to just put our trigger buttons back on as well. And now apparently this part's quite fun. You need to grab the spring and you need to put it back into the place it came from, which I don't know where is. I see it, I see it, I see it, I see it. That's one in. Music to my ears, man. 
Sweet. Okay, so next we need to ensure that the power slider and the volume slider are in the co uh, correct place on the back plate, I believe. This is a back plate. Just otherwise, if you don't line them up, then it can, obviously it can, it can suck. So we're just gonna align them with the motherboard and just make sure that they're, they're the same. I'm not gonna force anything here. I'm literally just taking it really easy. It looks okay. I mean, I'm obviously not gonna try and turn the power on just yet because the battery's not even in, but all the lines look absolutely fine. The volume button seems a little bit rubbish, so I'm just gonna real quickly take that back off. Power's good. Volume's good, okay, cool. Now everything else should just click back into place. Let's just try again, so volume. Nice and easy slide, lovely. Power, nice and easy slide, coolio. I'll never say that again either. Okay, so the next step to this is to put the Phillips uh, screws back on the battery. Um, so I believe they're these really, really small, small ones. It would help if I had something in here first, I guess. We're not gonna do these too tight because again, if, if I manage to get my soldering iron tomorrow, then I'll be taking this apart all again. So now we go, now we go with the brass ones. One goes in there, one goes in there. Now, I don't know how this cartridge one is gonna go back in in the game slot, um, because it was broke. Remember, it was the white part, but we're gonna do that next. I mean, it still screws back in, so that's the result. This is where it gets dodgy, because we're just about to put the battery back in and turn on the DS to see if we fixed the screen. And obviously, for cosmetic reasons, we are putting the stylus back in. This is in fact the moment of truth before we stick all the other things back in. Um, I did forget to put on the sticky labels, but it's kind of good to have them off anyway. I'll just put them on the DS so that when we do get to do the soldering, we can put them on. Um, but yeah, this is this is it. This is the moment of truth to see, to see if it works or not. My first ever DS screen repair. As you can see, it's a little bit dirty. But the moment of truth in the three, two, one. <laughs> oh no, it doesn't turn on. Oh. Okay, so upsettingly, what we seem to get is the green power light comes on, the top and bot. No, is it just a wait there? Which one's this? That's the bot. Okay, so the bottom screen flashes, and then the top one doesn't. So I can only assume that I don't know anything about like circuits or anything. But we need to take it back apart anyway for the soldering side of things. Um, but yeah, man. Wow, I'm a little bit gutted. I'm a little bit gutted. I really thought, yeah, man, that really really sucks. Considering that everything else went went pretty smoothly, I think you know we all learn, uh, and we need to make mistakes and learn from them. Oh my God, I've just realized this screw was meant to go in the motherboard. I've skipped that step. I'm missing a screw from there. I don't know if that's gonna make a difference. I highly doubt it, but let's get that screw back in. At least we're getting good practice at uh, screwing. <sighs> like I said, I'm fully expecting it still not to work. All right, one screw being in the motherboard Something tells me it's just not gonna work. Yeah, all right, okay, fine, right. Thank God I didn't make that too anticlimactic. Okay, so we still <laughs> we still got the same issue, which is, it's just, it's just, yeah, yeah. The bottom screen flashes, the top screen does nothing at all. Nothing at all. We will, we will come back to it, guys. It's been an absolute pleasure. Do you know what, I've really, really enjoyed it. 
How, how's it going? So I can see you've done a bit too much there, really. We've uh, we've just taken it. We're just taking it apart now. Yeah. Hello, Bill. Bill's in here. Hey, Bill. That's funny. You just lost a few like little. What was it? Volume sliders and stuff. It was. It was. It was what? Good shout. No, it was a volume slider. Okay. Okay, pull oh, it up to the camera as high as you can. Pull it up to the, high, the camera as high as you can. Okay, nice. Right, let me just familiarise myself. So, for the seven people watching, the idea of this is, this is one of the consoles that came in the job lot that I ordered. So I've been doing a series where I've been obviously repairing a job lot. And this is one of the DS lights. So I sent it over to Joey so that someone who's never taken apart a DS before That's me. could have a go at fixing an Nintendo DS. It will give my viewers who have never taken things apart before, who just watch me doing it, who think, you know, where I can edit out my mistakes or I've just had a lot of experience in it. So this will actually be a accurate representation of someone trying to fix a DS. So I think it's a pretty cool experiment. You're 100% right, I'm too scared. Late night reviews, thank you so much for the follow, man. I appreciate it. So, it's down. It looks pretty much in, right? Or would you guys no. say... You need to... No, it's not in. It's not in. Oh, okay, okay. Wait, oh. wait, 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 wait. Let me just quickly check. It... No, it's not in. It needs, to... it needs to go further down. I'm pretty certain. I'm pretty certain. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. So I just I'd, let me just see if I can if I can get it in now. Yeah. Oh yeah, it's gone in a bit more. Did it move? Did it move? It's moved. It's moved. Ah! But now okay. wait there, wait there, wait there. Uh oh. Okay, okay, it's back down. Okay, okay. I'm just gonna reassemble. I'm just gonna reassemble. No, screw that. Get the battery. Plug it in. Ah. Uh. uh no, I'm joking. Okay. Flip that over. Oh, okay. Are you ready? Let's give it. Let's give I'm it not go. ready for this. Go for it. Hey! Oh my god. Oh my god, that was so loud. Your microphone like peaked and sorry, cut off. Sorry. Hey! Right. There we go. Okay, the ribbon cable just wasn't in. By the way, for the six people watching, I had this message from Joey on Twitter. He was like, I f it. <laughs> so, <laughs> so it's done. <laughs> Elliot, thank you so much for helping me, man. I really, really appreciate it, dude. And for those guys no, in the chat as well, thank you so much. I really appreciate it.